How did you get out of your your adversity or that you could that little t- time I in your life? I didn't get out of it in a good way. Actually, when I got divorced, I, you know, I blame it. I blame it on two things. I blame it on her and I blame it on on money. Okay. You know, I don't have enough money. We don't have enough time. Right. It's, it, you find all the excuses to say it's my fault, uh, and I hated her, and I developed a hate for women at that point. Wow. So I was mm. like. Fuck this, fuck that. Yeah. It's okay, you can cuss, it's a podcast. And so. it, okay, <laughs> yeah. like, you know, I'm going to do all this, and and then I move on like that, and then from that point forward, I look at my relationship in a different way. And it took me many years to catch up, and finally, it's like, oh, this is wrong. Wow. Mm-hmm. You can't hate women for this, you can't hate everybody. You, can, you know, from that point forward, I was like, you know, my heart's not open. Mm-hmm. You know, it's just relationships about business. Yeah. You know, kind of like... <laughs> transactions and it, you, it's, it's hard to live that way yeah. and it took me a long time to figure it out you know a lot of things happened for me to open my eyes and figure out that was not the way so to answer to your question i didn't really just went over the the hedge it did a good thing on me though the part uh that i blame it on money uh-huh. that was not so bad because i was like oh i i need to have a lot more money so mm-hmm. it was a decision that i made at that point and it was like, you know, how much I need? I need to make double in one year. Mm-hmm. And, you know, and I doubled that and tripled that and just in a year. So it really inspired me to get better, you know, to learn, to yeah. grow, to f- find opportunities that I thought were too far for me. Well, that's good because you actually took it as a positive way instead of going the opposite way. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, so I did both. It was part of it was good, part of it was Yeah. Good. So you went you went kind of the b- bad way in relationships, which it's funny. Like I'm I'm glad you you brought him on cuz we have a very similar story. I didn't hate women, but once your heart closes, every relationship is pretty much transactional after that. Like I went over a decade. Like it it's crazy. Like I'm going to be 43 in a couple of days. Mhm. It's not literally my heart did not even open up until just a couple years ago. I didn't even realize that. Like, I didn't even realize that I was not even open to relationships. In the beginning, it was bad because I would just tell them, like, don't start developing feelings for me. Don't because you're not going to get it back. And obviously, if you're with somebody, they're always going to develop feelings, right? Mm -hmm. So it would be this transactional relationships that when they would develop feelings, I would just end it and move on, right? Right. And that's not good for for anybody right for myself or for the relationships right and then you also mentioned money so i i uh, my previous career was in the financial industry and we we understood how valuable financial education was because it is true like i don't know if your divorce was because of money maybe it's part of it but most divorces are because of money Mm -hmm. and it's because people don't know about money they don't i mean you played basketball right right let's say you and i are going to play basketball but i don't know the rules of basketball i have no clue how to play the game but you know basketball, you know the rules, who's going to win? Right. Obviously, you're going to kill me, right? Because I don't, I don't even know how to dribble. I'm going to be double dribbling. I'm going to be going the wrong way. Well, let's talk about money. If people don't know the rules of money, are they going to win the money game? Exactly. Of course not, right? So, yeah, when it comes to relationships and stuff, money's a big thing, especially if people have different, like, money blueprints or one person's a spender one person's a saver mm-hmm. or you just don't know anything about money and you're just struggling right right and then there comes a lot of arguments yeah and, and for me i think it was um making money but still have well, this poor mentality yeah. you know and then buying things out of you know cars and houses yeah. that i can't afford just so i look good and yep. that's still a poor people mentality right it's, you want to portray that image that instead of uh, learning how to manage the money, learning, you know, yes, I have money, it came, but how do I use it? How you go about it? It's it's all about you, what you believe in, how you, uh, in a way, the value that you give yourself as a person mm-hmm. is the same value that you give to money in a way. Yeah, 100%. So It's energy too. Yeah. Money is energy. Yeah, and 100%. having a healthy relationship with money is so important. Mm-hmm. So important. It, yeah. It, yeah, so... I'm glad you said that because money is a mindset. 